Well, back in Washington, Barack Obama has telephoned the kings of Saudi Arabia and Bahrain and urged them to exercise maximum restraint. For more, let's cross back to Shihab in Washington. Thanks. In the last few days, U.S. officials had appealed to all sides to find a political resolution but not use force. But on Wednesday, the White House and the top U.S. diplomat, Hillary Clinton, did have a clear message for those cracking down on the protesters. Al Jazeera's White House correspondent, Patty Culhane, explains. Throughout the protests across the region, President Barack Obama has repeated one belief, what he says the U.S. stands for. The people of Egypt uh, have rights that are universal. That includes the right to peaceful assembly. So would the U.S. stand for this from its ally, Bahrain? Today, the president called both King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia and King Hamad of Bahrain to discuss the situation in Bahrain. The president expressed his deep concern over the violence in Bahrain and stressed the need for maximum restraint. It's a call he's made before, but the maximum is new. After the government opened fire on sleeping protesters in Pearl Square, President Obama called the king and strongly urged restraint. The White House is quick to say it worked. The government offered to talk to the protesters. News welcomed by the president in a statement saying, quote, the dialogue offers an opportunity for meaningful reform. And after a visit to meet with the royal family last Saturday, Secretary of Defense Robert Gates told reporters, quote, I have a sense they are prepared to make more far-reaching steps. The very next day, this was what was seen on the streets of Bahrain, prompting another statement from the White House urging the government to show restraint. The next day, troops poured in from Saudi Arabia, and the U.S. has not called for them to leave. Analysts say there is a reason the U.S. is being less than forceful. The Saudis and Bahrainis together are the pillars of U.S. national security or security strategy in the Gulf. They give the United States a military option against Iran. They give the United States a military option throughout the, the Middle East. And this Obama administration does not want to lose that. So they're not going to take the sides of, side of protesters. Is the U.S. willing to take any action in regards to making its point clear with Bahrain? Well, that's a question so far officials are trying not to answer. Patty Culhane, Al Jazeera at the White House.